I'm Ali, I'm 26. And I'm Alana, and I'm 30. Two years ago, we founded Bulletin, a retail space where online only brands can have a brick and mortar experience. This June, we're opening our third and biggest store ever in Union Square. We did this literally almost a year ago, and we failed. So with this new store, we're putting it all on the line. Everyone assumes that because you're a founder, you have like a luxe, well-designed apartment, but I just have like my pile of laundry out and like my janky air conditioning. So I live here in Nolita. I live on Elizabeth Street. We are about to finally get access to our new flagship store in Union Square, which is really exciting. You know, we can finally really get our hands on the space and get a sense for how much work it's gonna take. It's kind of this like big momentous, like either it becomes this awesome destination for our customer or we're stuck with the 2,000 square foot space in Union Square. We're off. And I just need my phone. I guess we're taking the stairs. Before starting Bulletin, we were the number one and two sales people at the startup we were working for. I had a six-figure salary for the first time in my life, and I don't have that financial stability anymore. Like, I've put all my eggs in the Bulletin basket in the hopes that it'll work out in one way or another. I have, like, two roommates. We all share a bathroom. You know, I can't do, like, fancy shit. It honestly feels like having a child. Alana and I feel like co-parents. Allie's definitely the extroverted one. I'm definitely more on the introverted side. So it's a good mix of talent, I would say. Hi, Kiera. Hey. How's it going? Good. I don't know if you know, but we get into the flagship today. We finally really? get our keys. Yeah. Oh. So this store that we're in right now is only 500 square feet. Same with our Williamsburg store. We started with like very small stores. So we could control them and really figure out the build out. But the new store, the flagship is 1,500 square feet. So it's like three times the size. It feels like 10 times the size. It feels so much bigger. We we did this literally almost a year ago and we failed. We went from our 500 square foot Williamsburg store to opening a 1500 square foot bigger stake in the ground store in Soho. No one showed up, the brands weren't selling anything and we're really confident that we've corrected those mistakes and that this won't happen again. But you know, that is kind of a, a little mark on our record. <laughs> Do um, they do you want to see the stores? Like, yeah. Oh my god, this is crazy. I mean, it's like fully gutted, basically. So this is the first time we've been in the space. Every other time we've come into the store, Steve Madden has been active. There's been shoes, customers, staff. And we, I mean, we're, we're set to open the first week of June, so we really only have two months. We'll have like a shoe try-on area over here. Don't touch it, you're gonna get like a disease. This is so wildly different from anything Alana and I have tackled before. And this is such a big space that like, there's kind of a lot more room for stuff to go wrong. Cheers to taking Bulletin to the next level and building this beautiful Story space, there. yeah. <laughs> How are you? Not too hot. I wanted to let you guys know immediately we lost the space. So basically the space fell through. Um, I guess another tenant came along last minute, offered to pay more, and the, the landlord just accepted the deal. Super frustrating. Alana, as soon as she found out, literally went and ambushed. <laughs> The property owner's office demanded a meeting with him, demanded an explanation. So Alana did what Alana does, which is try to salvage <laughs> the situation um, and kind of go into fix it mode, which she's always so good at. So our broker basically just started pulling all of these other spaces around the city. We got other brokers in the mix. Yeah, we just like went all out and did like a massive search of anything that would possibly yeah. be open. We ended up finding a space we thought could work, so we had our designer, Laura, join us for a walkthrough. Hi. Hi! How are you? Good, how are you? Now that we have so much more square footage, we wanted to make sure that 
it fit into and the budget. A $50,000 floor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so we're like looking at some alternatives for okay. that. So that's just one thing to consider. This, this one's also cheaper than that one. That one's cheaper? Yeah. We're like, yeah, I like this one. Yeah. <laughs> I think overall, I'm really, really excited about the space. I'm super confident. It's going to be great. Yeah. It makes me feel better. <laughs> Bye. Bye. And this is our new beautiful space. Right, right next, next door. It. 17th and Broadway. And 10 times better. So there's a ton left to get done. There's like probably 10, 15 contractors that are here seven days a week working on the space. We're waiting for all of our mill work to come in, which is basically all of the units that show up on the floor and all of the shelving. The entire store needs to be merchandised. Yeah. We need to get the product out. I mean, there's definitely a lot left to do. There are a bunch of different teams working on the awesome dressing rooms and the different activations we'll have in store. And those are kind of last minute details that I'm worried may not be ready. I just know that things are going to be crazy. My mom asked to come to the opening, but I was like, hard no, you're not allowed to be here. So this is Maggie. She's our director of product and brand experience. I think we're a little scared. We're like, is it too much room? Like we're almost overwhelmed, but we have so many amazing brands and it's allowed us also to just bring on more product for each brand. I would say, I mean, doing the Soho store, which was our problem store, we didn't really know how to design a space. We didn't really know. It was really ad hoc. Now we like have the right people in place that are like pros and can kind of show us the way. So basically the idea is we'll have an iconic music video playing in each dressing room. Well, there's like a Cardi B room, yeah, Rihanna and Lana Del Rey. And then it'll be this cool like immersive experience when you go in and it looks like the music video and it feels like you're kind of trying everything on like in the video. And then right here, we're gonna have our candy wall, which like we're really excited to play around with the colors with. And it creates this really amazing interactive moment. And we definitely want people kind of like monitoring the candy wall, because I could foresee that like yeah, getting people out just of control. Coming in and being like, um, Psh. <laughs> I find myself waking up at like 6 30 or 7 a.m. and just being overcome with anxiety, I guess. Yeah, I feel like the walk to work in the morning is just like yeah. all like just thinking about all the different things that need to get done. We are less than 24 hours from opening. How is that real? We're Wish trying to keep it together. Yeah. There's a lot of little details that need to be um, finished up before we open doors, so it's a little bit hectic. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. What about this up? Does this feel random? I'm not sure if this is gonna get done tomorrow, but we're sure as hell gonna try. The night before the opening is always insane for us. Like, we end up staying there till 4 a.m. Yeah, you were there till the sun comes up. I'd say the big difference with this store is it's all these different teams coming in and like bringing in these like crazy things that have been spent weeks Maybe. getting built. Yeah. Where with the other stores, it was literally us just like painting. Yeah, we literally yeah. painted everything, we hung everything. Like, so there's like a bar that we're gonna have here and these stools uh, and nothing showed up on time uh, or a few things didn't show up on time. So now we're trying to find great. <laughs> all of the curtains still need to be hung. Uh, Isn't Patrick like at Ikea, but he also has the stuff for the curtains right now? Yeah, so that's like a thing. Um, all the benches need to be assembled, all the hooks need to be hung. Uh, the little decals we made, the celebrity decals, uh, Kira's literally illustrating those right, right now. now. <laughs> um. I feel really excited. I feel really proud. We keep joking that we've been like in labor for like three months. <laughs> I just got the chills thinking about it, but like, and this probably won't happen, but the thought of people lining up outside the door, like that's always what you want. You yeah. want people that like have shown up early, that know that they're coming for Bulletin. They're such loyal fans of the brand that like they want to be the first to see the new space. And like, if that happens, I will break down crying. Okay guys, you need to leave because we need to finish. Film crew out. It's crunch time. We have so much left to do here, as you can see. Thank you Bye. for coming. We will see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay, guys, we have 16 hours to go. So it's 10.07. It's good chaos. We have 50 minutes to do it, though. 
ready to go. A few more little things. We have decals going up. Or Brittany. This is our party. How do you guys feel about the height? I think a little lower. Same exact wall, yes. Always the wall parallel to the door. I think it's perfect. I think the height looks good, right? Yes. I've been at flagship, kind of getting all of the back stuff and everything ready for like three weeks now. I don't even know how long I've been up. They forgot the words, but they're gonna bring them right now. All right, we have five minutes. So let's just start like putting stuff away. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, there is a line. It's... Oh my God, someone's wearing her Mato Gold shirt. What's, what should our opening song be? Um, what about Nerd? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, okay, yeah. are we ready? Yeah! Nice for waiting. Nice for you to a bulletin cake pop. Yeah. Welcome to Flagship. <laughs> Welcome. It's so exciting to go upstairs and see that it's packed and everyone's shopping and loving it. Uh, I mean, it's incredible for us and I feel like this weight has been lifted from my back and from everyone else's back on the team. She said, good luck on the store open. I am so proud of you and all you have accomplished. Thank you for everything. I wish I was there. I said, I love you so much, mom. Thank you for everything. You are my role model and my bad bitch life Sherpa. <laughs> This has felt like a marathon for us. Like I think we kept thinking we'd be done and the store was gonna open in another week and another problem would come up and it was just this feeling of like, okay, I feel like I can see the finish line, like we're almost there and then there would be another hurdle. I think that if you had told me a year ago that we would have a store in Union Square with 60 brands co-retailing here, I my mind would explode. Honestly, I would say I'm most proud of Alana. She's like the sister I never had. I could have never done even like a piece of what we're doing now without her. He got mini uh, banana puddings for the team. <laughs> oh, my favorite thing. I think a lot of businesses and I think a lot of entrepreneurs position themselves as having this like master grand plan all along. In reality, a lot of success is trial and error and it's a lot of failure. And I just want people watching to know that all you have to do is get started. You don't necessarily have to have everything figured out when you launch your company or launch a brand. Sometimes just getting dirty, putting you know your business all on the line and giving things a shot is what it takes to, to find success. We did it! I am so you. proud of you. It's amazing. <laughs> Thank you for watching. We will see you at 863 Broadway.